Hey, this is Nathan Sykes, and you're watching me on The Adam Bomb Show. Over and over again. Over and over again. Uh, do you get intimidated when you walk in? <laughs> when you see your face on a yeah. screen, Nathan Sykes? Yeah, absolutely. Check, check it in on The Adam Bomb Show. Uh, beautiful weather where we do the show in Atlanta. The weather, does it feel like home? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You know, people freak out about this weather here. Yeah? It's like they've never had it before. Really? So the city is shut down. Just to give you kind of a, a backstory here, we had, um, in 2014, we had two inches of snow, and people were stranded on the highways for two or three days. Yeah, you know what? That kind of happens in England. We're not, we, we can do rain. We, we're used to it, and we kind of go out in T-shirts in rain. We're just like, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> uh, snow, like, we see a particle of snow. That's it. Like the whole country is like, no, nothing going today. Really? Yeah. Because up north, it's up north of here. It's like, oh, we have to have a blizzard to do any to stop anything. Yeah. And yeah. And when you do it here, like today, everything closed at 11 a.m. The whole city shut down. You're like joking. everybody's going home. You're joking. No. Really? That's what I mean. Yeah. Well, so, well thank you for staying here. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan Sykes checking in on the Adam Bomb Show. I have not seen you since 2012. Yeah, it's been a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Was it the right time for the wanted to end and you do your own thing? Do you think uh, it happened at the right time? Well, we, well, we did take a break, um, so we we did leave it open. Um, but I think I think the time felt right for us all to kind of do our own thing. Um, like it was just kind of at that stage. We just finished the album. We obviously wanted to do the tour for the fans, um, and I think the natural thing for me to do. I was only twenty when we decided to take a break, uh, so I was still young. Right. Um, not that I'm not now, um, but uh, I still am young. And I think the natural thing for me to do, like I love music, I love writing, I love making music, was to kind of just write an album because um, there wasn't an opportunity at the time to do that with a band. When you started to do that on your own, was yeah. it easier or harder without the other guys? Um, you know what? For a minute, it was just weird because I was like, who am I? Who am I? It was just a bit strange. It was like, <laughs> like... Wh who's Nathan Sykes? Like, who, who's this yeah. person that's, do you know what I mean, going to be making music? It was um, it tough to find an identity, though, like, of just yourself now to well, everybody? because yeah, obviously you're used to kind of writing for the other boys and, and writing with them and, and making a certain type of music. Uh, and I think when the moment came, I was like, oh, this is interesting. I can just do whatever I want. Yeah. Uh, and, and the record label were amazed, and they just turned around and just went, just, just make an album. Uh, <laughs> we're not kind of going to tell you what to do, yeah. what style to do. Just go and... Do what makes you happy, um, which is which is fantastic. And yeah, I just locked myself away. And and, and when the moment came, um, it was actually after we finished writing a song, um, and then we started just kind of jamming and and wrote a song called "Morning You'll Never Know," which I put out as like a kind of a, like a teaser track um, mm -hmm. for the fans to get used to the sound. And we just wrote it in twenty minutes, and I was like, "My gosh, this is it. This is this is the this is the sound." Yeah. Um, and from then it it was a it, it was a lot easier because it was it was just it just felt like me. It was just kind of like the music that I've been listening to growing up. Um, it's a bit more soulful, and then obviously kind of mixing it with what's 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 current at the moment. Uh, Nathan, let's give a little insight to your fans too, and, and to people that are going to be listening to and watching this. You're in the studio in Atlanta all week. Yeah. Right. So give an insight of what it's like to literally work all week in one city. Are you working around the clock? Are you ta taking normal breaks, having normal hours? Uh, no, we, we start at four um, and and go to about two, three in the morning. Gosh. Yeah. But, I mean, that's it's not too bad, though. No, it's cool. Yeah. I mean, I you get to it. sleep in, right? Yeah. But I've been in L.A. the week before this. So like the, the time zone kind of works out for me. It's, yeah. How do you good. stay healthy traveling? and working weird hours in weird weather because you're going from awesome weather in L.A. to yeah. this. But seriously, how do you stay up? Because you have, your moneymaker is this thing right here. Yeah, you know, you know what? It's just looking after it. Um, like, I, I don't drink, like, carbonated drinks or anything like that. Um, like, I, I steam, I use humidifiers. And, and oh, the like secrets. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's yeah. just, like, it's just right. normal stuff that I think a singer would do. And you've just got to make sure you warm up and cool down after you sing. Because um, it's... It's essentially a muscle, and it's like asking a runner to kind of sprint 100 meters uh, without warming up. Right. Uh, and you, you're going to cause yourself damage. Uh, so it's, ju it's just being sensible and looking after yourself and, and doing what's 
Yeah. Okay, let's Good. talk about you getting together with Ariana Grande and coming up yeah. with this next track. How did yeah. that conversation start? Uh, well, it started off, I, I wrote the song about a year ago, uh, or over a year ago, oh I think. Oh, my gosh. Um, there, were, there was, like, a, a gap on the album. Well, I, well, I think the label thought the album was finished. They were like, mm-hmm. well, well done. You've got a great album. You, you, and I was like, nope, not yet. I don't. <laughs> um, I need to write uh, two more songs. Uh, and they were like, cool, cool. I was in London at the time. They're like, do you want us to set some sessions in London? I was like, no, I need to write these songs in LA. And they were like, yeah, of course you do. You're looking for a holiday, mate. <laughs> um, and I, was, I, was like, I was like, no, seriously. Uh, so I flew out um, and wrote these two songs, one of which was over and over again. Um, and and it's, it's just a really like romantic song. It's, like, it's written about unconditional love and the idea of that. Because I think people, a lot of people love the idea of just having that one person for life uh, and um, unfortunately it doesn't happen enough these days um but um yeah that's what the song was written about and then we released it in the uk and i was like you know who sound great on this song and they were like who i was like ari she sound great on this she, yeah. she's like sing a butt off on this she'd be so good um and obviously when we did almost is never enough um the fans reaction to that song was just absolutely fantastic. And I was like, you know what, if, if we can get a reaction like that again, um, this would be something really, really cool. So so reached out and, and she was like, yeah, okay, I'll go it. Do was it. that easy, Nathan? My God. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, it should yeah, be, Yeah, when though. you say it like that, it's amazing. yeah. Let's try it again and see if she'll do a track with me. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> so I, I saw you're going to be on James Corden in February. Yeah. Okay, do you think that he's going to take you doing that, that karaoke um, I think I think I'm just I'm just singing this time. I, I don't think I've got the repertoire at the moment <laughs> <laughs> because I love karaoke in a car. Yeah, I mean, that, but okay, That's brilliant. The one with Stevie Wonder just made my entire life. I'm the biggest Stevie Wonder fan. Um, so I was just sat there, just so happy. Um, and I, I think I was sat there with my friends when I was watching it, and they didn't know what I was watching, and they were like, "What on earth are you watching?" The smile on your face at the moment, yeah, is just beyond belief. Uh, it was like a child at Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's pick one besides Stevie Wonder that you could walk into a bar with and do karaoke. What celebrity would it be or what, you know, anybody? Dead or Alive? Yeah, let's do that. Frank Sinatra. Oh, man. Without a shadow of a doubt. <laughs> do you think he could belt out one of your songs pretty good? Um, I mean, it would be interesting to hear. <laughs> I mean, obviously, we'll never get to hear it, unfortunately. Man. But um, um, And when you go on the road, I mean, does you're going to go on with Little Mix in, a, in for a month. Yes, I am, yeah. Are you nervous to do it by yourself this time around? Um, no, you, you know what? I think what makes me nervous is the fact that I've decided to do it acoustically. Yeah. Um, and so I was walking out into this arena of like 10,000 people a night um, and, and, yeah, just sat there with a guitar and, a, and my piano. Um, so that's, it's, it's fun. The it's spotlight's great. literally on you. There's nothing else. That's the thing, and, and that's what I wanted to do. Because I think when you come from a band, um, I think it's easy to kind of throw a load of like bells and whistles in, and, yeah. and, and kind of distract people from anything. And I was like, no, I want people to kind of focus on the voice um, and focus on what I can do, and uh, focus on the songs and the lyrics and, and the melodies. Um, so I, I think it's a really cool opportunity. Is there anybody you've reached out? Uh, for advice going solo you know what i um not really going solo i don't think um but i had the coolest advice of an artist called jamie cullum okay um and when i had i had throat surgery like a few years ago um and i was i was not in a good way Mm -hmm. and i got the nicest letter i've ever had and i'm a massive like jazz fan i love jazz um, and Jamie Cullum's incredible. And I just got this letter, and I was like, this is the nicest thing on the planet, to have another artist reach out and be like, hey, I know you're going through a bad time. Hope everything's okay. Here's a bit of advice, blah, 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 blah. And here's my album before anyone else has got it, so you can listen to it. And wow. I was like, oh, okay. This is rather cool. Man. Yeah. You get the coolest yeah. things happen to you, Nathan. Yeah. Throat surgery? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, that, yeah that, that was the best. <laughs> hey, Over and Over Again is the song. Nathan Sykes, thank you so much for coming by. Thank you so much for having me. Can't wait to play it on the Adam Bomb Show. Over and over again.